Hi everyone and welcome to the first episode of Who's a Good Vlog. So every week I'm going to research a different breed of dog and upload them here onto YouTube. The first breed of dog that I'll be doing this week is the Beagle, which is one of my favorite breeds ever. Let's jump straight into our first segment, which covers the history of the breed, which I call Julius Caesar. Now, in terms of looking at the breed's history, it's actually quite a relatively new breed. It does have ancestors, though, tracing all the way back to ancient Greece, but the beagle that we know today doesn't start appearing until around the 1800s. The earliest ancestor of the beagle breed is the Talbot, which is a now extinct breed of dog, and that was first brought over to England by William the Conqueror. People in England got the breed and bred it with greyhounds in the hope of creating uh, something that could run really quick but uh, had a great nose for sniffing. So through breeding those two breeds together, over time, eventually around the 1800s, we get something that looks kind of like what we would call our modern day beagle. The next segment covers the average height, weight, uh, fur type of the breed, which is called vanity fur. Now the Beagle is defined by the FCI as a small centaur, ranging between 36 and 41 centimeters in height. Now when you look at a Beagle, you can definitely tell that it resembles that of a Foxhound, which makes sense because they share a common ancestor. The Beagle has a classic color that is associated to the breed. This is the classic tri-color that you will see on mostly all breeds, which come in uh, white, black, and uh, brown. The breed can come in other colors though, such as red, lemon, and like an almost orange. But a fun fact, with all tri-color Beagles, they are almost always born black and white and the black spots fade to brown as they get older. So in terms of characteristics that uh, work in the favor of the breed, obviously it's gonna be its nose. It is its star characteristic. Their ability is best applied to ground scenting and not air scenting. So that's why you'll most likely see them in an airport as opposed to a mountain search team. Segment number three looks at the average temperament of the breed. This segment is called What About? So basically, if you have a family, a beagle is perfect for you. They are known to being gentle and even in their temper. However, if you're getting a beagle to guard your house, it's probably not the best idea because like me, can be won over by strangers by food. So they are not a good guard dog. They are a good alarm system because they will bark, but they won't attack them if the stranger is nice to them or offers, offers them food or something like that. Studies have shown that beagles are one of the most excitable breeds you can get, and also they have problems with abandonment. So if you leave them by themselves for too long, they can become quite destructive with uh, furniture and things nearby. All right, so the breed is known as a single-minded breed, which means when they have something locked in their senses, they will chase after it, which can make them hard to run with because they'll be running in one direction and you want them to go another. In saying this, the beagle doesn't actually need that much exercise. Only a little bit is needed for their everyday activity. They're quite happy to just lounge around for a lot of the day, but it is recommended that you take them on as much exercise as possible because the breed is prone to weight gain, which is a perfect segue into our VEX segment, which looks at the health risks with the beagle breed and this segment is called the bark side so some general health issues that you should look out for in your beagle breed is epilepsy and ear infections actually because of their floppy ears there's not enough air getting in there which means a lot of bacteria can grow the breed is very prone to weight gain so they get really fat and this is because when they are presented with unlimited food they don't know when to stop, like me. I don't know when to stop if I'm given unlimited food, and a beagle is the same. You have to say that's enough, because they will keep eating, I will keep eating, we will keep eating until we are just fat. An interesting behavior that the beagle does is something called reverse sneezing. Now, it may seem like the beagle is choking, but actually it's just taking in a lot of air through its nose and through its mouth. I don't know. 
We have no idea why the beagle does this, but it doesn't hurt them, and uh, it's just weird. Our second last segment for the video looks at the different variations that may occur from the breed, and this segment is called Doggleganger. So when you're looking at the different variations of the breeds, you've got to look at which kennel you're looking at. Now, lots of different countries have different kennels, like there's an Australian kennel, a UK kennel, an American, a Canadian, and there's a European one that this channel follows called the FCI, which is a World uh, Canine Organization. Now, the FCI doesn't actually recognize any variations on the Beagle breed. There is just one Beagle breed. The American Kennel does recognize two separate breeds. Similar to a MacBook laptop, there is a 13-inch and a 15-inch Beagle. If you want to find the Beagle in the FCI catalog of breeds, you'll find it under 6.1.3, which basically means it's a scent hound of a small size originating in Great Britain. People may come up to you and say there is an English and an American breed of Beagle, but the FCI doesn't, or actually any kennel, recognize this separation of breeds. So realistically, when they say that to you, there is no difference. And our last segment for the video looks at the breed in pop culture, and this one is called Paulywood. So there are some really popular beagles in pop culture. Some of them include Odie from Garfield and Courage the Cowardly Dog, and Snoopy, believe it or not. Some people may not be able to recognize him as a beagle, but he is a beagle. They have also appeared on TV shows such as uh, Star Trek and The EastEnders, and have appeared in many films such as Underdog, Cat and Dog and its sequel, and Inspector Gadget, the live action one. So basically that sums up the Beagle and everything that I could find on it, everything that may be interesting to the public. If you like the video, like it and subscribe. I'll be uploading a video every week. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs>